Hello Raiders, and welcome back to this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm your zesty bestie, Kevin Ballard-Munn. And I'm Connor Mounts. Do you have questions about financial aid for college? ISAC representative Natalie Irwin has answers on October 27th in student services during first period through Raider Hour. Any girl interested in being a contestant for the 2018 Festival of Lights Queen Pageant, please go to the website www.philepi.org for registration information. The entry form is due Friday, October 27th. Last week was Principal Appreciation Week. A big thank you to Mrs. Laredo, Mr. Hackett, Mrs. Ganem, Mr. Du Bois, Mr. Bowman, Mr. Gersnich, and Mrs. Thornton from all of us from at EPCHS. Any girl interested in playing indoor soccer at Pekin, see Coach Childs. We will need a minimum of 15 girls. As you all know, October is College Awareness Month. This week we have five colleges visiting us. On October 23rd, University of Illinois will be here at 1. On October 25th, we have Hillside, or Hillsdale College at 11 and McMurray College at 1.30. On October 26th, Western Illinois will be here at 10.30 and Knox College at 12.30. Because it's College Awareness Month, Student Services has been highlighting different area colleges every Monday. Here's Becca to give us some more information about Bradley University. Thanks, Kevin. Bradley University is a medium four-year private university located in Peoria, Illinois. Bradley University has approximately 4,400 undergraduate students who come from all over the United States and 33 countries. If you wish to apply, there is an application fee of $35. Some of the most popular majors include business or marketing, engineering, and health professions. If you're a student who likes to get involved in extracurriculars, there are over 240 student organizations you can join. If athletics are more your thing, Bradley is an NCAA Division I school with six Six male sports and seven female sports. There's also an active intramural program at Bradley. Tuition, fees, room, board, and other expenses come to just over $43,000 per year. If Bradley University is of interest to you, you can go to the Bradley website for further information. Back to you, Connor and Kevin. Thank you, Becca. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, please check the school's website or listen to the announcements given by Christian Laredo at the beginning of Raider Hour. Stay tuned to get an inside look at Power Force Anti-Bullying Club, how to register for the Zero Hour Medterm class with Mrs. Barclay, and a look at our new segment, The Tomatalk. Hey, I'm here with Hala Dimitrov and Lexi Dorch of the EPCHS Power Force. So, could you tell me a bit about what the Power Force does for, in case we've forgotten? So, Power Force is the school's anti-bullying club and we're here to help give students the confidence to talk about their problems and get help or to raise awareness about bullying in the school. Well, that sounds good. What kind of things are you doing? Uh, October is the National anti Bullying Month. This month, um, we are doing the last two weeks of, Oct of October and the first two weeks of November. We will have a poster contest, banner signing, hand stamping, free pencils and wristbands, and t-shirt sales going on. Wow, that sounds good. How can I get involved with this? Uh, so talk to your teacher and they'll put you in contact with Mrs. Eberly, who's in charge of Power Force. All right, thank you, girls. This next segment of Inside the Tribe is brought to you by Mentor. Today I'm here with Miss Barclay, who teaches medical terminology. So, Ms. Barclay, could you just give us a brief description of med terms and what exactly you learn in it? Medical terminology is a dual credit class that I teach here at East Peoria High School. It is worth two credit hours, and it's actually free of charge for students right now. And it teaches you basic medical terms and basic medical word-building techniques. Wow, that sounds good. So, I've heard that this class meets in a zero hour. When exactly is that? Zero hour is also known as early bird. So it's 6.45 a.m. to 7.30 a.m., which is great because it doesn't interfere with your other classes that you want to take during your regular school day. Wow, that sounds good. It's almost like a free class that I can take, and it's mostly just vocab. So, yeah. 
So how do I sign up for the second semester? If you are interested, you can stop by and see me in the nurse's office, or you can sign up with your school counselor. Sounds good. You heard it here first, everyone. Hey everyone, it's Kevin Ballard Munn here with the Tama Talk. It's currently second hour on Wednesday and we're gonna creep through the halls and find people to ask questions. Let's go. So here we are with our first victim. What's your name? Robert. Great, great, great. Now Angelina, I've got a very important question for you. What book are you reading? Sarah Once and For All. Is it good? It's a romance so I just, I don't know. What would it taste like? Delicious. Scrum diddly umptious. Let's go. What is your favorite brand of shoes? Uh, uh, covers. There we go. What is your name? Layla. Okay, Layla, who is your favorite person to have been on Inside the Tribe so far? Um, that would be Connor Billard. Not your boy Chase? No. We've got it on the record. Your boy Chase has some competition. What is your name? What is the best type of tree to plant if you live in Soviet Russia? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, a pine tree. A pine tree, the mighty pine. That's my best guess. Hello Raiders and welcome back for this week's Extracurriculars. I'm Becca Ransom. And I'm Jessica. To kick this week off today, Varsity Chess is away at Limestone at 4. There are no events this week for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So Saturday, October 28th, Girls Varsity Swimming is away at Pekin High School at 10 a.m. for the mid I meet. And Varsity Cross Country is away at sectionals at 10.30 and 11.30. The band participated in Bands of America this last weekend, and they sounded great. Good job, Marching Raiders. That's all for this week. Thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Becca. And I'm Jessica. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have a great Raider day.